Good morning, America. This is Dr. Cherry from the Arid Zone. You know my philosophy, the first cosmic cup, teaching you the divine. Today, we're going to have a very, very interesting newsletter, which again, I strongly, very strongly recommend you to read and reread and reread because this uh, current SOS to the world, shocking, surprising, mind-boggling, explosive window is on. Okay, as usual, we're going to get into the newsletter, which is titled Turkey and Syria Earthquake Predictions. Oh, you're going to say, Dr. Chiri, you actually predicted it. If you know me, you know I did. Okay, it's obvious, it's written, it's dated, it's well documented. Let's get going. Okay, well, um, my expectation for those larger squicks were posted on January 31st, and we are February 6th, okay? That was on the private Cosmic Code. I, I posted it for all our VIP and uh, precious Patreon. Now, planning in accordance with God's design is a must, since he speaks his interstellar will through the sign I translate regularly for you. Now, becoming a VIP also means the option for you to plan around those windows, save your time, save money, or at least be very, very conscious and in the process, save your life. Okay, remember, once in a lifetime, comet sighting, a special celestial message to the world. Remember that? Okay. Now, paying attention to comets' omens is also part of my cosmic teaching. And it seems the last few days, dramatic deadly news can only prove my claim. Okay, pay attention. The ancient, erudite ancient of the past really, really paid attention to comets. All right. Now, this now gone SOS to the world deadly window uh, was all about a new beginning or ending of important phases of life. And again, if you read the news today, okay, uh, you can only realize that I was ahead of time with the extreme cold weather that took place in China spy weather balloon. Beginning, ending of important phases of life. Up to date, today in the news, why the Chinese balloon crisis could be a defin defining moment in the new Cold War. Again, new beginning, new beginning of a new Cold War. Okay, the comet has spoken there too. Not over yet. Now, the Webb telescope spots a new colosseum sized asteroid. Okay. Well, what does this new celestial body mean for humanity? Again, don't expect NASA or the scientific community to enlighten you with my visions of the future. Again, if you're a skeptic, then it's better that you write down, make a note, okay? Because when it happened, you will realize my UFO predictive legacy is not a joke. All right, maybe I'll put it, I'll put it to the public, maybe I don't, but it definitely will go for my VIPs. Again, let's look at the current window. Remember, I work like Nostradamus. I'm currently teaching a, a class of 15 people, including myself and my wife, of course, helping me, um, uh, divine astrology or astropsychology. Now, this is the window that is currently offered to the public. Okay, it's been there for a while. Now, the data are very clear, all right? Five and six of February. Again, it's only if you're a VIP that you will see where well ahead of time I give you, I give them those dates. And the keywords is very obvious. Again, okay, calm, deception, to strike. Now, here is the keywords. They are very obvious because unlike Nostradamus, I don't have to fear the Inquisition hanging me or burning me on the stake. Okay, so the keywords are obvious. Space news. Stunning, explosion, children, teen, and of course, earthquakes always at or above 6.0. I already predicted one on the first. Okay, now let's look at some of the news. Crews scramble to avert a catastrophic explosion after a train derail and burn. Okay, you see the word explosion right here? All right, now we got one. FBI counterintelligence agent is stunned 
at the indictment of one of their own. Do you see the word stunning? There you go. Webb Telescope spots new Colosseum size asteroids. So let's talk about space news here or NASA, whatever you want. The keyword is there, the energy is there. All right, move on. Near miss at FedEx plane landing almost hit Southwest flight taking off in Texas. Now, do you see anything involving aeronautic airplane or airport? Well, I see it. It's right here. You see? There goes the news. Okay. Now, two young female athletes went from the top of their game to dying by suicide. Talking about teens, children, teens. Okay. Again, the reptilians took over those young kids. No cosmic awareness. They don't know about it. They have not taught about it. And then they cannot apply the wheel and they die. Okay. 11 year old North Korean girl has a YouTube account. Okay. Technology. Technology. There you go. Right here. Are you enlightened? And children. Okay. All right. Nine year old graduate high school. I want to be an astrophysicist. Hey, again, be careful. Okay. Children are very easily manipulated. Don't be deceived by the scientific matrix abusive maneuver. This is nothing else than advertising science on CNN or religion. Jesus, remember, $100 million on the Super Bowl. Okay, be cautious. They are using kids, okay, to promote. Not my work, which is very worthwhile, critical for humanity for that matter. Okay, now my first SOS window for February 1st and my expectation of earthquake at or above 6.0 transpire. And so is my second window for February the 6th. You have the date. Unless you become a VIP, you would not know that you have the right to be skeptical. Don't get me wrong, but it's there. I don't make up stories. Okay, now, if you read what led to Ty Nichols' death, Blah, 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 right here. There is no denying my UFO predictive legacy. Oh, Dr. Chiri, you have UFO experience? Yeah, click on it and read it and listen to it. It's real. All right, now here's the result. Now, those predicted earthquakes in Turkey and Syria have killed over 1,200 people. And that's mounting. This is absolutely terrible. Okay, that comet warning was very real if you read it. Okay, so here we go. Okay, that is the first one on that window, on the first, the second window, the six, okay, and you could see, six, oh, seven point five, six, seven, seven, eight, right dead on my window, again, shame on you, yes, okay, find out what's going on with them and me. All right, now, last week, I was teaching in my divine astrology class that in time of a full moon, that will be now, yesterday, the gravitational forces of our closest satellite are so powerful that they would and will trigger trillions of tons of water from the ocean bottom and directly put pressure on the Earth fault. And that results, of course, in very large earthquake. Hello, hello, there's no psychic here. This is scientific. It can be proven, but they will not budge. They will not budge because... They don't want a little French astrology to know better than all of them combined as far as my timing is concerned. Working with me, we can find the location, but they won't go there. They just won't. I only have you to help me to pass on the truth to those truth seekers looking for the truth. Now, in that respect, because of this tragedy, my vision of new beginning and ending of important phases of life took place and touched directly thousands of people all around the world, not only in Turkey, not only me. I do have had a very, very important beginning and ending happening in my life, okay, yesterday. And I'm sure if you start to ask questions or hear your friend, you'll know that they also have experience a new beginning and ending of phases of life. And right now we are into shocking, surprising, out of this world type of news. Now, educated idiots like Neil deGrasse and company ridicule not only UFO's reality, but the old science of astrology. And as I said, USGS since 1995 hasn't answered my email when I gave exact, very specific date of earthquake at above 8.0. That's absolutely undeniable if you take the time to read. Again, a physician without a knowledge of astrology has no right to call himself a doctor. Hypocrites, you're talking about the father of medicine. Okay, 
I truly believe not only my students, but geologists, astronomers, astrophysicists, and doctors from all walks of life, including society at large, would greatly benefit from building cosmic consciousness and taking my divine astrology or astro tarot. For us, it should be mandatory in every college, university, and accepted as discipline. No, unless we have, now we have science and we have religion, okay? But we don't have Dr. Cherry. Now, this, science, this psychiatrist said that he, he, he knows the secret of happiness. He's actually writing a book, co-writing a book. I don't have nobody to co-write my book. There are 600 pages, okay? And very, very tiny, very tiny typing okay it took me years to write those books now if you were born with a strong negative scorpio especially the moon which regulates your emotions okay or if you have a black moon that's a curse okay badly aspected by saturn which is the great depressive malefic in astrology unless i repeat myself myself unless you become cosmic conscious you will not be able to apply your will and happiness will never, ever be yours. It's absolutely impossible. Now, maybe Dr. Wildinger, which is the director of the Hogwarts Study of Adult Development, writing a book, should take my astro psychological course and exit the box, okay? This doctor is advertising his book nationwide because he can afford it. He can afford it on CNN. Try to put an advertisement, an advertisement on CNN. See how much that costs. And if I was even me, if I was coming there with the money, they'll turn me down. Because again, the scientific and religious matrix who own all sorts of information, who have all the money in the world, they are well organized, will not allow me to reach you. Luckily, we have Twitter we have, again, it's control, but we have also YouTube, which is my best form of expression. And I thank you guys for being here. Now, why would I never get a Nobel Prize? Okay, well, just read it. Read what it means also to, to be a true genius. It's all there when you have time, because my newsletter is pretty long, okay? Now, again, from a psychiatrist, because I teach psychology, psychiatry. In fact, in my class right now, I do have accredited doctors, okay? So read their feedback right here. Now, Dr. Senja, explore the mystery of the teenager brain. Oh my God. How can, how can he do that when he doesn't know anything about himself, okay? He does not know nothing of the mystery of the brain of a, te of a teen because he's not cosmic conscious himself. Okay, he doesn't know nothing about his own karmic UCI. That's Chinese to him. Okay, listen. Okay, he does not know that a child, if you're a mother or a father concerned with a kid, pay attention that until puberty, until the age of 15 to 16, is under the direct influence of his natal moon, which regulates tremendous emotions. We all know when you have a teenager, how crazy they become. They're not rational. They're all about emotions. It's the moon, the moon. She's in charge of that brain, that little brain developing, okay? But our infantile, cosmic, unconscious, rigid, and rational science can only offer logical, earthy answers and entertain you with the moon. Look what they say. Oh, super snow moon. Okay. It tells you exactly when it's going to happen, what it is made. It's all logical. It's all rational. It does not apply to you. It doesn't do nothing but entertain and educate you. But you cannot make any a use for your life like my work does. That's why it's critical for you to share it, my good friends. All right. Again, God created the stars, the moon, and the heavens for more than the sake of beauty. He gave him out to us for interpretation so that we human may live a safer, more productive life. This is the word of Paracelsus, a very, very erudite man of the past. But of course, people like Neil deGrasse and people like all, all these doctors really kill those people who know so much better. They know better than Tesla. They know better than Einstein and their philosophy. They know better. The ego egocentric educated pride is humongous. All right, so uh, that's what I say. Dr. Gapta, Dr. Phil, Dr. Chopra, Mr. Neil Disgrace, and company, the mind is nothing more than a sophisticated, fleshy computer and cashed into a bonny, bonny case so that it doesn't get hurt, it's protected, and it's reacting to a complex, very subtle stimuli produced by the stars. Or simply stated, the human mind is reacting to universal mind. But unless you master God cosmic design instead of relying on science, 
you will gain the golden key to what it means to be human if you do that. Don't only rely on science, on what they want you to hear, to read. It hypnotizing you, indoctrinating you with all sorts of bull. See reality with Dr. Thierry. That's why you're here. Okay. Again, as I always said, it seems that my cosmic work is so ahead of time, so far-fetched, that it will eventually bless spiritually inclined future generations that are seeking the cosmic light I own. Now, luckily, there is many, many of you here, okay, that are watching me, that are actually able to not to follow the masses not to jump into this big hole of stupidity, indoctrination, okay, and obliviousness. You are here to be challenged. You are here with Dr. Cherry to grow, to bypass the limitation that what CNN, Fox, the scientific community or the religious community wants you to know, okay? You are bypassing all this limitation on this channel, okay? And as I said, slowly but surely, I don't have you know $350 million to advertise on national TV and the Super Bowl. Okay, I don't have that money. I only have you. That's why if you feel in your heart that Dr. Cherry has something real, please, please, please help me push it out, post it, share it. They're gonna call you a cuckoo. My gosh, I'm 73 on February 26th, okay. I've been called a cuckoo all my life. Look where I am. Look what I have. I got it all emotionally, financially, spiritually. I'm all settled. I'm all done. I have the American dream. I work for me. I know better than so many people. In fact, I teach who is who in America, in case you don't know. All right. This being said, one more time, we're into the shocking, surprising, out of order. Uh, type of energy because Uranus, which is a very eccentric planet, is in charge of those days right now. And Uranus has a very, very weird ecliptic. It's very, very uh, untraditional. It rules New Age, astrology, UFO, computers, technology, the future of humanity. It rules anything to do with astrology. That's that's why I was I picked that date with that comet because it makes it so very unique, so very different to learn from me right here, right now. The good news, I don't have time. I'm too busy. I love your work, Dr. Cherry. Well, again, email, Charanya. click on the link, become a, a VIP or click on the link of, uh, of the email of Charanya. And then you can take the course. The course will be crystallized in the Cosmic Code private website forever for all the future truth seekers. So, because it's my last class, I'm not going to do this anymore. I had it. I had it with stupidity. I'm going to go fishing. I'm going to go fishing for the rest of my life, okay? I don't want no more headache. I cannot give my pearls of wisdom to pigs anymore, okay? And I'm calling you superhuman, no pigs. That's what, because you're here. That is, because you vibrate at my cosmic speed. All right, my good friend. Uh, we now come at the end of uh, this meeting. Again, remember, I always, always improve my uh, my newsletter. So go and read it now because you're going to read to assimilate better by reading maybe. Okay. Uh, but I will put more and more of my shocking, surprising, electric, explosive news I'm expecting involving a plane or whatever. It's all there. And you all fully predicted to my VIPs and Patreon supporter, which I love. Thank you so much for supporting my work. God bless all of you. We talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.